the Daniel cell is the different cell representations are shown here Daniel cell is the electrochemical cell invented by John Frederick Daniel in 1836 a British chemist it consists of two half cells the half cell on the left side having zinc sulfate solution zinc sulfate is completely ionized into zinc 2 plus and SO4 2 minus here I consider two molecules of zinc sulfate the number of zinc sulfate depends upon the concentration of the solution. Zinc rod is dipped into the zinc sulfate solution called anode. The half cell on the right side having copper sulfate solution. Copper sulfate is completely ionized into copper 2 plus and SO4 2 minus. Here also I consider two molecules of copper sulfate. Copper rod is dipped into the copper sulfate solution called cathode. Now these two half cells are connected by external electrical circuit and also connected by salt bridge. Salt bridge is an intermediate compartment filled by saturated solution of KCl or KNO3 and fitted with a porous barrier at each end. It maintains electrical neutrality within the internal circuit. As soon as the connections are completed at the anode, Zinc metal is oxidized to zinc 2 plus ion which goes into the solution. The electrons released at the electrode travel through the external circuit to the copper electrode where they are used in the reduction of copper 2 plus ion into copper which is deposited on the copper electrode. This can be confirmed by flow of current from cathode to anode. Now we see clearly how the oxidation and reduction occurs at the left and right side compartment respectively. This is called uh, zinc anode. This is called copper cathode. In zinc anode, zinc atoms are regularly arranged. Here you can see how the regular arrangement of copper. When the connections are completed, zinc metal is oxidized into zinc 2 plus ions and two electrons. These two electrons move from anode to cathode where there is reduction of copper 2 plus ions takes place. Here copper 2 plus ion is reduced to copper which is deposited on the copper electrode. Similarly, the second atom of zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus and 2 electron minus. This also moves from anode to cathode and the reduction of copper 2 plus ions takes place at the cathode. Due to this chemical reaction, on the left side container, the concentration of zinc 2 plus ion is increases. It can be neutralized by moving this zinc 2 plus ions towards a salt bridge. Similarly, in the right side container, concentration of sulfate ion increases due to the deposition of copper. It can be minimized by moving the sulphate ion towards a salt bridge. Now we see the chemical equation occurs at the anode and the cathode. On the left side oxidation occurs at this loss of electron. At anode zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus and 2 electron minus. On the right side, reduction occurs, that is, addition of electron. At cathode, copper 2 plus ion is reduced to copper and 2 electron minus. The net reaction will be, by adding these two reactions, anode and cathode reaction, we have common two electrons. We cancel out these two electrons, we get the Daniel cell reaction that is 
zinc solid plus copper 2 plus aqueous in equilibrium with zinc 2 plus aqueous plus copper solid. Now we check the answer. Here in the first option, the zinc rod is dipped into the zinc 2 plus ion solution. Copper rod is dipped into the copper 2 plus ion solution. These two half cells are connected by salt bridge. It is represented by double vertical line. So the correct representation of the Daniel cell is the first option. Thank you.